Welcome back. Hello. Somebody there to greet us with a moan and a growl. What were they called? Not calzones, but they... Yeah, calzone monsters. Calzone monsters, that's the official term. Calzone crabs. Head crabs, that's the one. Yes. But are they really like crabs? Well, oh. no, they don't walk sideways. I think that would be necessary uh, for, to call them crabs. <laughs> Especially with David Niven's joke. David Niven? You know who David Niven is. Is he a British comedian? No, 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 no. Because uh, 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 then I don't. Know. A darling, he's an actor. Oh uh, no! Never he was in. Uh, have you ever seen the, any of the Pink Panther movies? Uh, n yes, I have. Yes, I have. A long time ago. He's though. one of those actors that always has this accent and <laughs> plays in very fine, fine pictures. Uh huh. Uh, is very distinguished and has a little moustache. Um. Uh, like if, if anything, Pink Panther was a little beneath him, oh, uh, kind okay. of thing. Um, but he's a uh, yeah, he's like a he's in the same group as the guy that played Tarkin. Uh, what's his bloody name? Uh, Peter Cushing uh, and mm -hmm. Christopher Lee and like the, the group, oh, okay, uh, it's the same old category actors. Yeah. Um, uh, but I think and actually an interesting little uh, connection to Peter Cushing. Uh, they're basically waiting for the CG to get good enough, uh, or cheap enough, I'm guessing, at this point. Yeah. Uh, that they can finish a film that he was working on that for strikes or a, a, an untimely death or something that they never managed to finish. Uh -huh. And they attempted, I think, to do it with a stand-in. Um, oh, okay. But uh, he has this uh, joke about the drunken crab. <laughs> Uh, he told on a talk show one time, and so it's, I always relate it to him. Uh, and it's this thing of where a crab falls in love with a lobster. <laughs> or something like that, some other kind of sea creature. Uh, but their love is forbidden. Oh. Uh, crabs cannot mix with lobsters. Uh, because the crabs are weird and uh, walk sideways. Unlike the mighty lobster, uh -huh. which walks forward uh, with pride. <laughs> uh, and so the the little lady lobster, uh, uh, the her father forbids her from ever <laughs> seeing the uh, the crab uh, because he walks sideways like some kind of fool. Uh, until one day, up the garden path comes storming the crab, walking dead straight forwards. He crashes through the door proudly. Way up there striding in a definitely forward uh, direction and uh, the lady lobster says oh darling crab oh darling crab you're uh, you're walking forwards like fuck off i'm drunk <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> which i I, uh, I just love that joke i mean he tells it better obviously so, so he peter cushing played a crab no no, it's just a joke that he has. Oh, oh, okay. That, that wasn't the David, plot of the no, movie. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> it's just one of those talk show stories that old actors tell. <laughs> a bit like, uh, like there's some actors that are on a shit list of mine. Uh -huh. and Bruce Willis is definitely high on the shit list just because oh, yeah? of how they treat uh, TV hosts when they're being interviewed. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, or, and like for other cases, like one, Kevin Costner, he just keeps getting shit roles. <laughs> yeah, but he can be good yeah. if he wants to. Yeah. He's been good in a lot of stuff. Like, okay, Robin Hood is highly inaccurate, but it's a fun oh, film. A fun. And he's a weird yeah. American Robin Hood, but it's yeah. good. Oh, actually, you've seen that one, right? Yeah. Do you remember at the beginning, the father of Robin Hood? No, it was a damn long Brian time. Brian Blessed again. Um, huh. But... Uh, recently, I saw a, a new interview with Kevin Costner, and he's off the shit list for me. Oh yeah, uh, just because of this story. Um, he's talking. He was like saying, oh, halfway through uh, some practicing yeah. for a fight, he's with the stunt double, and the stunt double <laughs> uh, sort of just like they're getting bored basically of uh -huh. doing the same dance up and down a, a log, uh, and he's like. It's lunch break. He uh, says to Kevin, Do you uh, want to go to get some mushrooms? 
And Kevin Costner sort of looks around side to side a little bit and there's all kind of mushrooms. The good kind, the stuntman replies. <laughs> uh, and then Kevin Costner looks around left to right again a few times and says, okay. Uh, and so they're walking through the woods of England, dressed in medieval gear, carrying swords, looking for magic mushrooms. Wow! <laughs> and okay. so the stunt guy finds one, picks it up, and you know, Kevin Costner's still staring around. He's got a basic idea of what he's looking for. Yeah. And then the stunt guy finds another few, and then, and then another one. And he's asking, how are you finding these? Says, well, the trick is, once you've found one, that one tells you where to find the others. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like looking around and he's going, okay, I see the logic in that, but aren't we going to be doing a sword fight after lunch? And the stuntman goes, you know what? That's a good point too. <laughs> uh, and so they give up finding any more. Uh, but then Kevin Costner's at the end says, but you know, after the day, uh, uh, before I went to my trailer, uh, I found some more. So they told you where to find them? They tell you exactly where to find them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, so, Kevin Costner, you're back on my not shit list. That does not sound at all like Kevin Costner stuff. I know, but I, I have not seen much. I wouldn't have thought he had... Oh, wow. Huh. Uh, like Waterworld. Yeah. I actually enjoy Waterworld once every few years. Oh, okay. You can't regularly see it. Uh, who's got the time for that monstrosity? Um, <laughs> and to be honest, I think the last time I saw it was a Rift Tracks. But oh, I there's don't a think Rift it's as it? bad as people say. It's kind of, again, it's in that um, 90s action movie list of uh, so shit it's good. Oh, okay. Uh, I have not seen... But it's... I don't but think it's terrible. It. It's got a decent villain that saves it. Oh, yeah. It's Dennis Hopper, right? Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah. It's, I mean, it's no Demolition Man, but... <laughs> uh, actually, that's a, that's a game we should play. There's a really shitty... I think it's Demolition Man SNES game. There's a Demolition Man FMV game. <laughs> oh, I bet there is. <laughs> And there's a little there's a little DOS game called MDK. MDK. I didn't uh, yeah I didn't know what it meant when I was playing it at the time. It's like a kind of weird, slightly comedy 3D platforming thing. I don't quite understand it. But um, then I realised after watching Demolition Man, MDK means murder, death, kill. Ah, okay. And I, they're not linked in any way, but they're the only two references I've seen to... I'm guessing MDK must be some kind of military code or police code or something. Sounds like one. Uh, but it's also the name of a uh, very weird DOS platforming thing. You look like mm. an alien from Alien in it. Uh, <laughs> but you can like use your tendrils as a parachute, and you get grenades that are kind of like... Uh, mini nukes, and that's actually what they call them. Eh, might be worth a, a go one time. Isn't that the most optimal optimal way by killing head crabs? By the way, with grenades. Yeah, <laughs> that was a. Uh, yeah. I've yeah. run out of ammo a long time ago, and it's ah. frustrating as hell. <laughs> Especially yeah, and then this. you start like that would have been a grenade uh, time. Yeah, I should have right saved there. the grenades. <laughs> so now you're just panicking. <laughs> One of my favorite bits, uh, starting from at the cemetery part, I think it's not too far yes, from here. Yes, I remember enjoying the cemetery. Uh, I can't wait to do a... We, we're, we're, it might be coming out about the time this episode is, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm very much looking forward to uh, our little VR experiment that's coming up. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. Uh, I'm going to do a little uh, guided tour of... Um, uh, in fact, we'll put a link up somewhere probably in this video if it ends up happening. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, ho like of our homes, basically, childhood homes. You know, not as accurate. You, brother. It will be What's he saying? Patience, brother. Patience. Is that Irish and well. Russian? Patience, brother. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, of our homes. And uh, yeah. 
I was trying to think of like things I can show you that don't show actual addresses of people I still know where they live. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, in different areas. Uh, and there's one particular little place that's weirdly connected to Guild Wars. Wow. Uh, that if we end up playing that, yeah. uh, I'll show you where. But I can show you a cemetery I threw up in once. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but because I ate too many pickled onions that hadn't pickled yet. Oh, uh, that's throw up material if I ever heard. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I won at a church harvest festival. Uh, Those exist? Oh God, yeah. I'm going to show you the church, <laughs> uh, and uh, like the the it's the place names I'm going to enjoy the most. I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, like the, the the graveyard church I threw up in. It's a place called Old Coats. Old coats. Yes, as in this coat is very old. <laughs> old coats, but it's spelt differently. Oh, okay. Old uh, coats. <laughs> uh, no, coats is spelt C-O-T-E. Uh, not like boats. Oh. Okay. Uh, so you've got the basket idea. There we are. Oh yeah. I remember this now. Um, and also my my uh, kind of town of birth. I was technically born in Doncaster. Uh, Doncaster. Don oh. Caster. Not <laughs> Doncaster. But yes, well, there is a certain drawl in the accent that makes it sound like that. Don, Don is the name of a river. Uh, oh, okay. And a lot of places have Caster at the end, like Lancaster. And, <laughs> and so uh, things like that. Last. You are to be commended for and Manchester. The There's a lot of places with Chester at the end. Ah, old had Roman had names. On his I think. Hands and now finds time for Chichester. nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect right. you have little wish to remain in Rainbow. No, not, a, not even slightly As for me, in comparison to some of the religious nutcases I get on Periscope. Especially when <laughs> you know, I'll start talking <laughs> about uh, you know, something to do with computer games, and there'll yeah. still be five people in there saying, have you welcomed Jesus into your life? Wow, they, is that a Periscope thing? It's apparently... Either that or I attract really? I had no clue about that. that oh, yeah, we were getting them all the time when we did our Christmas thing. Oh, shit. That's... Uh, but the, the town I was born in was Langold. 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 <laughs> uh, which I haven't seen in years. Uh, and the house that's there uh, is still there. Uh, but it, nobody lives in it. Uh -huh. uh, I actually think it has squatters in it at the moment. I was talking to my parents about it last week. Uh, doesn't have pleasant people. What are squatters? Uh, squatters, people that like. Uh, there's like a weird law in Britain that if a house is empty uh, mm -hmm. and left, uh, like there's certain rules that if you leave an empty house in a certain state, uh -huh. that if somebody moves in, they have rights to live there for a certain time. I can't remember what they were, but it's like illegal to kick out squatters. What? Yeah, yeah. squatting, it's a thing. Uh, the uh, fuck? Yeah, it's a really yeah. old, old English law that oh. somebody moves in to a house. Like, if you go on holiday, they can't move in and call it, like, their home. That's breaking and entering. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's, like, abandoned and you're not paying tax on it or something, then it's basically open to the first people that claim it. Well, the, that's got to be a business. Uh, oh yeah, there's a, there's a, like there's some people that just live like that, squatting from place to place. Huh. Uh, usually drug abusers. Uh, I imagine so, but so they don't have to pay rent. No, and it's a, and there's certain cases where it's illegal to kick them out what? of your own property. I can't remember the rules about it, but uh, it's something worth looking up. I imagine there are some. Uh, Odd English laws that are old. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there's one that's like, I think they've changed it now, but technically it's illegal to not go and practice bow uh, practice uh, on the village green if you have one. <laughs> uh, uh, something like that. It's illegal. It's like one not of those weird laws. Like in Canada, it's illegal to board a plane while it's in flight. Oh, yeah. We, I hear so many, especially American laws, but I wonder how many of those are actually true. Maybe there are. Uh, there's like, um... Usually skeptical uh, to things like that. <laughs> like, you know, like the give a penny, take a penny box? No. 
Like, uh, in, it's, a, uh, it's a thing in America that if you're like short one penny on something in change, you have to use your card or break into a new note. Oh. There's like a little tray of pennies that if you get a penny back, yeah, you can like, it's like karma, you leave a penny in there uh, and take a penny. Oh, it's an honor system. It. Yeah. Um, there's a law like that about sheep. <laughs> uh, where if you leave, uh, if you find sheep a sheep, short? if you find a sheep, then you need it's uh, like just loose. Then you have to take it to a special place in the village green called the Penfold. Uh, <laughs> and if you've lost a sheep and you can't find it, then you're allowed to take one sheep from the Penfold, even if it isn't actually your sheep that has been lost or found. It's like an honor system. You can take a sheep or leave a sheep. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, but squatting. Follow me. Uh, that sounds really oh. interesting. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, as you said, I imagine it's a lot of drug abuse. People living that lifestyle. In many countries, squatting itself is a crime, and others it is only seen as a civil contract, uh, as a civil conflict between the owner, uh, property law, and state uh, ownership. Blah blah blah. In the UK, uh, uh, for example, squatting is linked to an antisocial behaviour. Blah blah blah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, squatting is the oldest mode of tenure in the world. Uh, mode of what? Uh, like owner, like uh, ownership. That tenure. Uh, uh, yeah. It is as true as the queen with her blah 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 acres of percent. Um, as true as the queen. Of our land, regard of our planet. Uh, uh, so yeah, squatters often claim rights over the spaces that they have uh, by virtue of occupation rather than ownership. In a sense, squatting is similar to and potentially a necessary condition of adverse possession in which a possessor of real property without title may eventually gain legal title to the real property. Uh. So, uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, some of that Europe... Denmark has something about it. France, huh. Iceland, Iceland, Italy. They need that. Sweden has any squatting laws? Ah, oh, Switzerland, really? Wales. Feels like you would have heard of it. Uh, squatting in England and Wales. It's most of England and Wales, to be honest. <laughs> uh, pro oh, protesting is part of it as well. People can protest a building being knocked down and oh. so can squat into it. And because it's going to be knocked down and therefore not used, then they can claim uh, tenure over this abandoned property. Oh, okay. Uh, it was necessary uh, because of after the war, a lot of people didn't own buildings, and so the way to reown it was to basically <laughs> squat in it. Huh. I think common <laughs> law squatting, adverse possession. Yeah, if it's unregistered, then uh, if you live in uh, if you live in it for thirty years, then you own it. Something like that. Thirty years? Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, some cases it's ten years. Major. He left uh, Gregorovich or whatever his name was, by the way, behind. Oh, good. In the cemetery and going down through the mines. Well, he seems to be having a, a whale of a time up there, anyway. Yeah, he's got a his blast. Traps. It's like a <laughs> weird. Uh, home alone? religious, re yeah, a religious uh, Russian version of Home Alone, but with zombies. With zombies. <laughs> Have you seen that video of the uh, Home Alone uh, real uh, effects? No. Like somebody CG'd in the actual injuries that they would get. Oh. From having like a brick in the face. Oh, that sounds hilarious. And you see Marv on the floor with like bits of his skull missing. Oh. As the as <laughs> Joe Pesci's just like shouting one-liners around him, and then they throw another one and it misses Joe Pesci and it just crushes Marv's skull. You just see it's like part of his face gone. Oh, that sounds and hilarious. And Kevin's just like totally, totally cool about it all. It's uh, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, yeah, oh, I loved, I remember doing this. Oh, yeah? I remember doing this, where you just fuck about trying to, can I tease it over here? Yeah. <laughs> Teasing the barrel. Come on, little barrel. 
And then, yeah, and then you end up, it hits the thing underneath you and kills you. Because well, have... like, you can tease things through things. Oh, I'd... Like that. And then you'd eventually have it come up and then I'd done that where it's then hit the thing underneath me oh, and exploded wow. and killed me. That is cool. I did not manage to do that at any point, I think. I wasn't intending to do it. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> it was so cool. I can do that even. Is this... I think this is the... Like, the cool bit was in the cemetery that I talked through and didn't concentrate on. <laughs> um, but this bit... I... Uh, again, I think... I just remember not in it's a very dull area. It's all enclosed and caved off. But then I think you go through a tunnel yeah, here so. and come out uh, in more train areas. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. What's it's, the area after this? Uh, there's a car. Oh, there's more petrol station places, isn't there? There's more warehouses. Um, uh, don't can remember. But there's a car part coming up, uh, where you get the boat, but car is. Uh, do you go into the house at this part? Because I remember there's like uh, those electric uh, balls. Is that bit coming up? Oh no! That's no, miles no. away. Yeah, that's the that's the end. Okay. That's in the last episode, I think. That's oh wow! A long, long time. Oh, and that's I had a lot of issues with them, by the way. The electric those, balls. Really? Oh yeah, F especially finding solving one particular puzzle. <laughs> oh dear! Is it? It's a room Flaming full of lasers, uh, which I didn't figure out, and uh, actually had to look up. <laughs> oh no! Because it went on for twenty minutes. Really? Yeah, it went on. Oh for 20 wow! Minutes. And it's uh, sad. Swimming head crab. I think it was dead. Do they drown? That's a terrible crab if it does. <laughs> Drowning crab. That's gotta be it. That's. A have decent bad name. Drowning, Drowning crab. <laughs> what am I? How am I moving up? I don't know. There must be some kind oh, of. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> I, why am I going up? Yeah. Again? <laughs> then you're using it to. Yeah, I totally do not remember this bit. I mean, I remember it, but I have no idea how you get in or out. Hence why I thought the next bit coming up was the. Uh, uh, the long uh, coastal walk. Oh, uh, that's coming. Uh, that's coming up kind of soon, at least. But uh, there's one fun part. Yeah, this is the kind are. of fun. Training bit. Oh, the tra yeah, okay. Yeah. But, uh, oh, the car. Yes, the mine car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. I think I... The thing is, what goes up must come down. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh. It's like that big labyrinth. Oh yeah, yeah. God. Such... Uh, maybe, maybe take to the side now. Yeah. <laughs> think I almost got killed by it at one point. Oh yeah. Ooh, no. You... Ooh. Oh wow, <laughs> six. <laughs> Six health. Are yeah. You wow, that's not a lot to 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 make it out of. No. <laughs> Why do you go back down? <laughs> Head towards the light. It's still amazing how this is all, uh, the whole game. It shouldn't it be able to redo it without the loading screens? Uh, yeah. With enough power or something? I don't. It depends on how the engine was made. Oh yeah, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, here's the train. Oh, this is some... Unless it's about to go... <laughs> like, yeah, it's going to oh. ruin it with a drum beat any moment. It, could it, be... it might. <laughs> uh, so this, is the, this is some suspenseful music. Yeah. I hope they don't ruin it with drum and bass any moment now. <laughs> it almost, would be so easy for them. Almost Stranger Things-esque. Oh yeah. Point. You haven't seen any more of Westworld, have you? No, I need to. Oh, you really need to. Like I've I've heard snippets of people like trying to skirt around rumors. Huh? Um, and I think it differs incredibly from the film. 
Uh, oh yeah, like this is more like lost with robots at the moment, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a almost fitting comparison. But lost can give any answers, more or less. This does. <laughs> that's the every. Uh, oh no, they gave answers. It was nobody wanted to hear those particular. Oh answers. yeah, okay, I guess yeah. At this point, I'm trying. I'm struggling because I'm low on health from my stupid uh, and ammo. Missing. Yeah, yeah. So it's. Going not well. I've also uh, hopes and dreams are the only thing you've got going for you. At the <laughs> oh, there's a sniper bit coming up. I think. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh, I think but I you remember how to get rid of those, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I eventually f figure it out. Because <laughs> they give you a bunch of grenades just underneath them. Oh, they do. I oh, I'm, I'm full on grenades. I just, yeah, I run. <laughs> run faster than a bullet. <laughs> oh, well, I think I die here for the first time. No, not the first time. I've died. You a die lot. here for the first time. Yeah. So that's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you've never died here before. <laughs> this is new. I also started seeing a new, uh, uh, like one of the new big HBO series, which will be dated maybe when this comes out. Not real, maybe taboo. Have you heard of it? Yeah, the BBC is showing that. I think. Oh, well. they are. Yeah. Uh, okay. What is that? It's uh, with Tom. Uh, well, there's a lot of big uh, actors in it. Well, Tom Hardy plays the main character. Okay. And uh, it's set in early 1800s in London, mainly at hmm. the moment. And Tom Hardy is starting a uh, trading company, but he has a dark past, and Drama happens. Uh -huh. I, it's it's the budget here is uh, very HBO esque. In that it's uh, it's big because Tom Hardy is also in it. Oh yeah, it's infallible. It's in, it seems inc I've only seen a single episode, but I wonder if me. because it's on iPlayer uh, that it's in because we don't have a HBO channel in that I know of uh, in the UK. Uh -huh. um, I wonder, and also because the BBC are one of the their things is we can do period. That's not a good idea. <laughs> I don't know uh, what I expected. Um, one of the things the BBC does very well and cheaply uh -huh. is period stuff. Oh yeah, okay. Um, if you want a Victorian London, the BBC are your guys. Yeah. Um, so I wonder if there was a little bit of co-production there. Yeah, it, it feels, uh, it really feels BB, BBC compatible. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Oh, God. Random head crab. <gasps> Nine oh. health. You can just throw, oh, you, you, you threw a grenade. Yeah, I threw a grenade, but I need to uh, get close see. enough, I guess, yeah. to do that bit. You're getting this opening boxes thing now. Oh yeah, I, I so got that mechanic down. It's not just stacking material. <laughs> oh, Come on, this is get it again. Grinning. I'm now uh, feeling another CS uh, source uh, level. Oh, th this uh, one as well. Which one's this? I don't know what it's called. Uh, but there is like uh, bridges going over like that, uh, mm. and people can snipe in them. ABDE train. Train. Railway. Well, a train's another one, but it's uh, very similar. Oh, okay. It's another kind of warehousey one. A lot of warehouses in that game. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be their go-to building. <laughs> the S isn't for stacking, though. <laughs> I wonder, I, th I really remembering the car part coming up here. That was a lot of fun. Oh, and that's not oh, too far. Oh, the buggy far... one, yeah. Yeah. And the bug control thing isn't too far away either. Better gun on the car than on the hovercraft, if I remember rightly. Yeah. But you also get a, almost a plasmid <laughs> uh, that, con that you control bugs with. Oh, yeah. That bit's coming up. Oh yeah, I remember that. That that makes you feel like a fucking man. Oh yeah, that was so fun. Fly, my pretties, fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What am I doing? I haven't gotten oh, the Oh, you're playing the new now. gun. I think yeah. you're playing with the new gun now. Oh, I love this. Oh, I went run, into run fire. <laughs> you walk through fire for this gun. More snipers. And oh, I, I usually might... My tactic for uh, these kind of scenarios usually is just oh, I love rushing. <laughs> I love that semi-scope mode on this one. Oh yeah, that's great. It's my, uh, I mean, the deathmatch, Half-Life 2 deathmatch uh, is pretty fun as well. Ooh, I can imagine. I, I get a, after playing this, I will, will uh, want to try CS again. <laughs> yeah, it's got, in, it's got to be Source. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Like right. There's um, one, uh, what is it, 1.4 or whatever it is, 2.7. 1.6? Something Sounds like that. familiar. Um, the, the original mod. Yeah. Basically. Um, it's just full of... Uh, I tried playing that once, it's just full of crazy experts that have been <laughs> playing it since the original release. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, there's, there, there's no room for noobs. Well, there uh, isn't in any room for that in the new one either. Uh, They'll kick you out. But in uh, CS Source, when, and thing is though, I never played on public servers or with like other normal people. Right, It right, was right. just mates yeah. from college and nice. uh, bots. Yeah. Uh, oh, very nice. So, or like some people that we knew, kind of. Uh, occasionally, we'd try and go on other ones, but it was just a or like to deal with the um, uh, cheaters and shit like that. Oh yeah, I can. Im it must have been easier. So to you just like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not cheating, and you just see him walk through a building, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or like shoot around a corner, headshot somebody through like around a corner, not even through the wall, just around the corner. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun, uh, by the way, with the Overwatch, the made few of the abilities uh, are inspired from those sheets. Like yeah, the, that was nice. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> That's a nice touch. That does sound smart. As as he's All I right. did try them out once, just not on like a public server, just because like, I didn't want to get my account entirely banned. Uh -huh. um, but I like, did a private server uh, with a hacked version and then tried some wall sheets out. And you know what? It's not that much easier. Oh, it because is. then you're playing a different kind of game almost. Oh yeah. And the game is now. I'm this man that can see through walls, and you've got to still work. Yeah, you know, it just adds extra tactics, and yeah, you're you're a level ahead of the other people, but it's still. Yeah. But if you're trying to play that, then the game is how do I use this without getting caught? <laughs> yeah. Or, or of it being really obvious yeah, oh yeah 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 that's a, <laughs> that's an art form as well playing with sheets but <laughs> fairly ah we left you a message on this betamax cassette <laughs> either that or some kind of ma 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 max headroom future did not include flat screens <laughs> yeah i love that but yeah the apocalypse was definitely circa 1996 that has always bothered me, by the way, with Star Wars and all that. Don't they have more high-res holograms? Are holograms just invented? Because they are so low quality. <laughs> uh, the idea is that they're having to use cheaper, older hardware or like makeshift hardware because they're the rebels that don't have all the money. Ah, but the Empire has the exact same quality. Uh, they have... Some better, slightly better stuff. Okay, Alex, uh, slightly better. Um, but it's still but not it's, in color. It's all blue. Yeah. The, yeah <laughs> Couldn't you get a hologram uh, with color? It's like it was. They still had the okay, slightly higher resolution, but still shitty blue holograms yeah. in the prequels. Yeah, that's true. Uh, things got a bit grittier. Sort of understandably. In the original trilogy. <laughs> But then they've got higher res ones in color in Force Awakens. Oh, were those holograms in color? Because, uh, what's his name? Snoke? Yeah. Snooky? Yeah. Snooky. That's Grand Snooky. Snooky, yeah. Grand, what was he? He's got his uh, Grand 
Master it's not Flash. Grand Admiral. It's uh, Supreme Leader Snooky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the car's all ready for you. He he's Come a hologram. He's not a giant man. Oh yeah, yeah, that was uh, disappointing. I don't know. I was there. I was, I was there. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Here. Why is he 37 feet tall? But it could be. Oh, this is embarrassing. This thing that's going to happen. It's kind of. Uh, <laughs> not fun. Uh, I think when they drop. Something happens when they drop the car. Because I think they drop it from here. Not just put them down. Yeah. Sorry, Doc. And <laughs> and it's gonna. Sorry, that's not a sorry. That's a oh shit! I just killed our only hope for survival. <laughs> Was that Gordon? You just did you dropped? just drop Gordon? <laughs> 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 Literally, Gordon's alive. <laughs> How? Flip it. You didn't get that you could just flip it? No. You were waiting for them to flip it for you? Yeah, I had no I figured out eventually that you can flip it, but it's taking- I think I'll use the gravity gun <laughs> to manually <laughs> flip get it. Because right? I, 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 I didn't get it first, like, what- how the- Wait, don't I figure out the gravity gun thing now? Because this is- I'm kind there's of panicking at this point. There's more bugs coming. Oh yeah, they are- so, yeah, ending. shoot it. Shoot the, <laughs> shoot the vehicle. Oh, oh, yeah, I solved it with this way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works. I think it works. Yeah! <laughs> Physics for the win. <laughs> That's how it works in real life. Oh, no, it's the same. It seems to be the same gun as the... Whoa, this is a very fast vehicle. Yeah. I do not remember it being that fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's extremely fast. But yeah, this is the energy uh, weapon you were talking about. I yeah. Think, with the That's this is not very satisfying. To, uh, fire, but you can charge up, and I think that does make it very satisfying. Maybe I don't think I ever charged. Oh yeah, I think this takes me a while to find. Want to way. get out of the cul-de-sac? <laughs> hmm, there's a road up there. Yeah. Oh, I'm. I'm. And the worst part is, I'm gonna. I'm gonna flip again, and I'm gonna oh, run out of grenades. No. Oh, what you just think? Oh, so now you've learned grenades are the trick. That's all you use. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, I think I. Well, that was just that wasn't supposed to happen. The car will just because uh, it's other games. I think you know, the car just never uh, falls. You didn't. Work, you problem. didn't see that whole shift <laughs> turbo button there on the side. No, <laughs> I think I missed that. Almost, but no, no, but no. I thought the as with the other games, the car automatic is the car is like a cat and never lands on its back, or never stays on its back. Oh, it okay. automatically turns over. Here, it turns out you have to do it manually. Now, I think I got the compound. D E compound. That's the name of the level I'm talking, thinking about on the CSS. There we go. Hooray! And this bit, I, I really remember, especially when we get to like the little town. And you see up there, I think it's there. No. That's the Lost Coast episode that we sort of missed. Oh! I'm guessing, huh. anyway. Interesting. It's like a little bit of an unnatural link between the previous area and this. Huh. It kind of looks like Italy. Kind <laughs> of thing there. there you go. Reminds me of uh, an Italian coastal village. Not that I've ever been to Italy, it's just that now you're going back the way you came. Yeah, because you could go through the tunnel, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think I'm going here. And now. <laughs> oh, wow. You, wow. <laughs> That's gold. Like, fuck your car. <laughs> you, and then you, yeah, you try and grenade your oh, way yeah. out of this I don't one. think it will work. If there's no problem you can't solve without stacking all grenades. <laughs> That should do it. <laughs> wow. How will Cancer Rat solve this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. Oh, almost. It's so close. If I get It kind of looks like there's a bird stood on the... When the gun's at a certain angle, it looks like a crow. Yeah. <laughs> just sat on the front of your car. Judging you. 
You sort of kind of want me to make it, don't you? Sort of kind of rude for me? The no? Thing is that, the <laughs> thing, it's, a te it's a testament to the physics. Yeah. Of that you can fuck your wheels up on one side or the other of this fence. Oh yeah, it's... Uh, uh, well, I guess more grenades then. <laughs> And if you've forgotten you have a gravity gun at this point, then? Oh, yeah. Yeah! Is that enough? Is that enough? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! You're now even more stuck. Yeah, but... If, if oh, you're I think so close, If though. I can land a grenade there, that should do it, right? Yeah! Solid, man. I'm not out of grenades, so I'm just hoping. I hope I never get stuck. Oh no, here. you go the, and then you keep going the wrong way. Like, you can see that like you were meant to come from there, but yeah. they like falsely blocked it off. Yeah, and now I get stuck again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I'm out of grenades at this point. So you're trying to magnum your way out of this? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I, I get. It. <laughs> okay. I thought I would think of the gravity gun instantly. The shotgun should do it. But yeah, take a step back for this one. Oh, yeah, come on, shotgun. <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> oh my lord. What is it with you and getting stuck? <laughs> it's puzzle games. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. It's not a puzzle. It's a puzzle of your own creation. <laughs> it's a puzzle of the mind. <laughs> of my mind. Why don't I use the gravity gun? I tried the shotgun and the magnum. Yeah, Here there we, we go. go. Oh, that moves it like a motherfucker. Oh, I'm thinking, okay, that's how you solve. That's got it, but you can't get it. Like, even if you get it stuck again, you know how to get out. Yeah, exactly. Now, and so, are you on the road again? Oh, yeah, because I don't think, yeah, I don't uh, recognize the tunnel. Because I, I see the road uh, over there on the other side, which I'm trying to... Uh, access. I see a road there. I don't know. I suppose it leads to the town. I think that's yeah. Power. That's the that's the lost coast. I think. Yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking, let's try to get over it. Just it, even though it's blocked out, it's you can sort of feel your way through, right? And I guess. Oh no! But now I know. I can just use the gravity gun to get it up there. Come on! Yeah, yeah. there we go. So now I solved it. To I this think. other dead area. Oh no! Just leads me back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, quick before the insects come. <laughs> so I now I have no. Good words. lord! I don't think it takes too much time to see the tunnel <laughs> while I was near before. I guess I thought that was a dead area. Oh, it's I said goodbye. Uh, <laughs> wow. But I, I really... Come on, turbo. Yeah, turbo yeah. it at least. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Got that one. That puzzle, I'll figure out. <laughs> but, oh, come on. No, no, you no! don't go. How? <laughs> Are you just drunk at this point, or...? No, I'm just slow. <laughs> and then you're heading back to the... Yeah, because I thought I missed something. I guess that's not the way, then. <laughs> Obviously, I have to miss something. There, there can't yeah. just be a tunnel somewhere. Drive out that to would be stupid. Drive out to sea. Why not? <laughs> Is that, uh, I see. I see. There's more. I oh no! You lodged <laughs> in the pier. Oh, I don't get stuck. At least. I see. There's more as a uh, um, psychological experiment than a playthrough. Yeah, it's, it's cancer rat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now your car's dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> And there's swarming insects. And it goes further in the water when I pull it. <laughs> oh no. This is so stupid. This is, this is painful I, I, to witness. I, yeah, I can... I, I dare the viewers to find a worse playthrough of this game. There can't be one, can there? Oh my god. Because they wouldn't be so... Oh my god, it's out to sea. Yeah. And there's things in the water that kill you. There's like these little like... Uh, Fish, I think. There's like uh, piranhas. <laughs> oh, I didn't think start, count I them. think you. Uh, maybe not at this bit, but there are at some points where you get in the water and there's piranhas that kill you. Oh, wait, I saw a camera. I think that's this. Yeah. I didn't encounter it. 
Okay, so now I don't find the tunnel now. I love, it Still? feels like it's too. I don't know. It feels like it's too soon for me. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon to just try left. Come on, a right. I th oh, yeah, I gotta see the tunnel now, right? Yeah, there we go. Hooray! Puzzle solved. My my version of laying a puzzle. If you imagine a physical puzzle, my version of of solving the puzzle is basically opening the box at the first <laughs> to begin with. Or <laughs> the tutorial, sorting you know the, the pieces. The, oh god! <laughs> Physics. Welcome to the next level. Um, <laughs> you know that like the tutorial levels don't technically count as puzzles, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think puzzle is just uh, is in the eye of the beholder. Life, Life <laughs> is just one big <laughs> tutorial level. Puzzle is you get thirsty. Mm, what do I do? I drink. Puzzle sold. <laughs> <laughs> Instinct <laughs> is not a puzzle. That's why we evolved. <laughs> Evolution solved that puzzle. <laughs> oh, do I get stuck here? Oh, that's rhetorical. You can go in there, there's toys inside. Are the toys inside? I believe so. I thought I tried to open the... Now I tried to figure out what the fuck this is. But there's a button, so I guess I turned it off. <laughs> Sounds? I guess I turned it off. <laughs> it keeps the bugs isn't, this, uh, this is, isn't there a... Th oh, maybe it's the next one. I thought there was something to... No, it makes them come. You were safe from them. Yeah, yeah, because they... Uh, turned it off. The shock... Uh, waves. And now you're going yeah, back to the way. tunnel. Yep. Solve that puzzle. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm genuinely confused now and slightly speechless. <laughs> well, I think. Which it... isn't good for a commentary. No, no, not really. But I think the, the following part, uh, the, this part was kind of boring. I think. Just, you just go to tower, to tower, and then turn them off, move to the next tower, turn it off. But then there's a fun battle because I think here the helicopter things. Uh, yes, this here. is where yeah, and you hide in the in the house. Yeah, exactly. This exactly. is it. Yeah, this is the battle I was thinking of. Yeah, uh, it's coming up. We need to get through the turning up these things first for reasons beyond me. You're not supposed to turn them off, I think. Maybe I can just leave them. I didn't even think of that. My button pressing instinct was too. Strong. Like, I know there's a bit where one of these is occupied. And yeah, you've missed, again, a load of goodies that are in those houses. Oh. Uh, I think they've... Oh, yeah. Here, so here's an occupied one. But yeah. if you turn off, the bugs attack them. Oh. And that is cool to watch. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the one I did not turn off. <laughs> or... What the... <laughs> Cliff! <laughs> Let's drive into that. Oh, I killed them all. I did not manage to realize that those are bug-related. Oh yeah, they're thumpers, they're called, and they thumpers. beat the ground and scare away yeah. the uh, monsters. And you try, uh, try and get in the tank. I wish. <laughs> that would be cool. I thought that was the and next so now part. they're coming and attacking you oh, you've really turned off your protection. Yeah. Still I have... swear there was like rockets and all sorts inside there. Oh, uh, but you haven't gotten the... Gun yet. Yeah, that's not. No, you just basically get the gun the first time you find the ammo. Oh, okay. We. That's. Yeah, that's maybe true. Because uh, the, other, the other parts, it's like here's the uh, the outpost. The with, this is actually a puzzle, if I remember rightly. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, the thing is, uh, the, you have to collect some batteries, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's coming up at least because I didn't figure out the puzzle. I didn't even know it was a puzzle. But you, don't you need to solve it to continue? Oh, yeah, you, you do. Well, I think the fight is first. Hurry, get in the basement. We're yes. expecting gunships at any moment. Come yeah, yeah. We'll be glad to see you made it. <laughs> yeah, this is where you get lots of rockets. Oh, yeah, and there's. And that. I think the AI on the airships is interesting. Because they try to shoot down your rockets, and you have to steer them behind, and then yeah, up I and remember down. that. That was like you cheeky bastard. Yeah, I thought like he just shoot them down, like Unreal Tournament is. style. 
This is David Niven. David Niven actually looks like that. <laughs> and talks like it also. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a picture of David Niven now. Oh, yeah. If you can survive long enough to make several you direct include. hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize. <laughs> what, what, oh, yeah, he was the, uh, now, who's going to be the, the crab to joke man. Yeah, <laughs> the crab joke yes. man. Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a final David Diven? No, David. Colonel Morgan Diven Freeman. At your service. Like, look at that guy, like, look at that guy, and then look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. it almost and exactly. imagine, imagine a nice English chap talking like this. <laughs> it's pretty much him. That with a thin moustache. <laughs> James David Graham Niven. <laughs> Died in Switzerland. His legacy. Crab joke. Crab joke. Famous for his crab joke. <laughs> oh, here they come. Oh, it's awesome. Oh yeah, I love this. He was in the army, actually. He was Lieutenant Colonel Niven at one point. Huh. Oh, do I... Yes. Yeah, there we go. I love how they react. They were like, Oh, bugger! Yeah! <laughs> I'm off. Oh, crap. I'm down. Oh, I wish you were allowed to fly those. So like, imagine you using these in a deathmatch. Oh, they they exist in deathmatch. Oh yeah, yeah basically every weapon is in oh, deathmatch. Oh, that's so cool. Even gravity gun. Yeah. Oh, gravity gun. I think the normal is one. So cool. uh, there is like a hack to uh, get going, Doctor Freeman. We know Eli uh, on you. to get the full one on. Ah. Uh, oh. So deathmatch with the overloaded gravity gun. And now I don't really figure out what to do. I think. Because yeah, you need to yeah, get the battery to, lift to power the, thing. the gates or something. <laughs> yeah, but uh, where is it? The next town it might take me slightly over time to figure that out. Because now, what do I do now? I try. I don't, you seem to be just loading your gun, walking to the front, then loading your gun again. Yes. <laughs> Got that done? Oh, I don't even see the gate. Well, something's got to be changed here now. Let's just see what's been changed here. Maybe the tide. Oh. <laughs> Come on. More of those. <laughs> Figure out the oh, gate. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, ga yeah. the gate is just at the end here. You go inland. Yeah. Oh. There we go. That's the gate. Good luck in Nova Prospect, Dr. Freeman. Yeah. Yeah, because Nova Prospect's the next city. That's yeah, exactly. And thank you. So let's go there then. Because she said go there. I can't tell. It, it, the thing is, what? where is this in geologically? Because this kind of feels like European uh, coastline. Yeah. It doesn't feel very American. And no one tells me about the battery. No, yeah, I I think some of them did. Oh, I've, maybe. In, uh, if you go downstairs... Oh, yeah, you need to go downstairs. You. Oh, I do that now. Hopefully. Nope. Almost. There's got to be something here that tells me something about something. Up here? No. <laughs> oh, there's... I hate, hated getting stuck in these parts. Because, yeah, it's... Okay, it's kind of, sort of... You, you would think that the player got, would get the instinct to go down to the cellar where it all started. But no. No. <laughs> let's Just stack things. blast it open. Let's remove all their defenses to make our way out. <laughs> ah, I'll just open it with the gravity gun. Yeah, yeah. Cripple any chance of an onslaught for the sake of just opening a door. Now it should work. One more time. Wow. You, you, it's, I've got that kind of... Uh, uh, oh, I've got that thumper mentality. Speaking of thumpers, thumper mentality. Yeah, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Is that a thumper mentality? It's um, you've seen Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they didn't translate it very well. 
Um, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's the, the rabbit. Mama right? says if you ain't got anything nice to say, it's better to say nothing at all. Oh, okay, okay. And it's not called uh, Thumpy in Swedish. <laughs> What's he called? Uh, the, the Swedish translation of it basically is Stampe. Yeah, that's what thumping means. Thump. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so may I? It's uh, near enough. Ah, sold it. Oh, <laughs> no. Come go down the cellar, for God's sake! That's the one place I have not been after the event. <laughs> yeah, I look up at the pylon. <laughs> See if that ha offers some wisdom. And there's even a building over there you've not been in at all. Yeah. And th th if Come you on, follow yeah. the power yes. line. Yes! I went to the cellar. Well, that's that. <laughs> that's I that. You disposed of that gunship, Dr. Freeman. Your reputation, sir, is well deserved. I shall have someone open the gate for you immediately so that you can drive on. I understand that Dr. Vance is in great need. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence yeah, such a hypnotic leads voice. me to believe yeah. has come under combined control. Still, you're clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Have Fair you out. heard the one about the, the crab? <laughs> you have a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, but you, there's no puzzle then. The free man must now hurry on. The Eli Vance is held in distress most dire. Is there well. reason for delay? Okay, so... <laughs> you've 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 had a chat with Niven. Let's uh, let's go up. Was it just that you had to say hello? Well, uh, no, I think what he mentions the battery now. If I go, no, no, because he said, okay, I'll open the gate. I think great. Let's just uh, let's let's just uh, run through it then. Drive safely. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay, there was so, no battery the batteries, thing. Uh, I thought that was There is up. a battery thing, but it must be later on. I think there's another town or an abandoned one. Yeah, because uh, I know there's a battery part at some point. <laughs> Could you even drive up left there? I, I can feel yeah. some... There's no branching paths no, in this no, game, no, are there? I know. I, I, I've sometimes felt like I've missed paths but that's like that's why i'm i'm so enjoying watching your playthrough of uh, new vegas uh? because i just can't stand these factions games oh okay is it that you can't commit it's the not that it's just the it's a i think i've, I've mentioned before it's the branching paths thing oh yeah of where i feel like i'm missing uh four fifths of the game oh yeah if i go in with uh... one and also it's not a, the developers see it as a choice of you choose which group to be friends with. Yeah. But I see it more as, okay, you've got to choose which five bastards to piss off. Yeah, exactly. I try to play it and be friends with everyone. And yeah, and then hard. all you end up is with, <laughs> is like playing a little bit of every branch. Yeah, um, exactly. Getting zero progress. But then I finally start figuring out, okay, I'll just make safe states and <laughs> see which one fits me the most and go full on. Yeah, and end up playing five games at once. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a part of... I wish it was almost like... Uh, yeah, okay, so there's a... a like, say it's a, a game that has basically five branching paths. Yeah. That They basically give you the option at the beginning. Which one do you want to go in? Do you want to just have it open and you can just choose yourself as you go? Like, normal? Yeah. Or a guided mode where I want to play it as, you know, Team C. Yeah, yeah. And, like, push me in that direction. Oh, okay. And then I'll play it again with, as Team D next time or something. Hmm. I feel, I feel like... Uh, More like I, five easy modes and then one normal uh, mode. No, but I feel like an analogy to that faction play thing is... Uh, you get a, a meal and you get to choose your seasoning. Yes. You want this with salt? Exactly. And I want this with pepper? Uh... And then then you some, can just... people, some people like to just have a condiment table and they can go and pick which one they want themselves. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and there's some people that like to have, you know, some weirdos that like vinegar on salad or something. Yeah. Uh, or occasionally, you want, when you've got like a big plate of chips, 
you want to drown those fuckers in malt vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I want to choose all in on the malt vinegar team. Uh, I don't care about ketchup. I don't even want a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Get shitloads of salt and vinegar. Uh, uh, and I, uh, sometimes I want the waiter to come over and offer me the peppermint. You yeah. Know? Uh, so I can see the benefits of both. But yeah, a little bit of help. You know, just... Oh, yeah. yeah the uh, the some... ketchup this evening is incredibly good, sir. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this takes me a while to figure out this puzzle. Do you remember this? No, I don't. It's... You've not stood still long enough for me to work out what's going on. Uh... It's the... Oh, it's the one where you have to move your car yourself. Yeah, exactly. And I eventually figure out if you can go up in the crane. I think, uh, again, this one took me a small amount of time to figure out. I think I figured it out eventually. First, I think of the crane. I think, yeah, not, now I go in the crane, and the, but then I don't figure out how to... Because I, I need to get the bridge down to get to the other side. Uh, it's a ladder. <laughs> Are we going to make it? Yeah. Well, you didn't even have to stack go. anything. <laughs> um, that waiter thing is reminding me of... Uh, it's. I'm guessing it's more like uh, analogous to the wine list. Of where... Uh, when you want to be sort of slightly guided in what wine to pick uh -huh. in a fancy restaurant, there's sort of two ways you can go around it. And so sort of, uh, if it's a good waiter, what you point at is uh, you say things like, if you want to appear, appear like you know what you're talking about with wine, uh -huh. want to impress the lady, uh, and or gentleman, um, and or, no, that doesn't make sense, or, but not and, Simultaneously, that's just greedy. <laughs> um, the other person or yeah. persons at the table. Yeah, side it's really cool to impress a group as well. It works. Um, have we all? Have we got all covered now? Yes. <laughs> is everybody happy? Uh, is everyone only slightly offended? Uh, uh, you order your. Uh, you, you you look at the wine list and you point at the cheapest wine. Uh -huh. And you say, I think I'm looking for something like this. What can you recommend? And if it's a good waiter, they will just say, actually, I think that's a very good choice, sir. Uh, and makes you look like you knew what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. And then when they taste it, uh, when they do the little pouring bit, yeah. that's not to see if you like the wine. That's just to see if the wine's gone bad in the bottle while in storage. Oh. And so... If you want to appear like you're the absolute pro, you just pick up the glass, just swirl it around a couple of times, look at it through the light, and then smell it. And then put it down and say, that's fine. And then if they say, don't you want to taste it? Like, no, I know what it tastes like. <laughs> I was just checking it was okay. Taste? Uh, uh, what would I want to taste this? <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm guessing a lot of waiters think, it's to see if they like it. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Put the cork back in and order another one? I didn't <laughs> like this one. Can I try and, can I try another? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and so, you know, you're just, no, uh, I'm just checking if it's uh, corked or not. Like, if you <laughs> say that after being axed, and it's happened to me once, a long time ago. Uh -huh. And, uh, yes, uh, it, uh, the waiter was more impressed, I think, than she was. Uh, <laughs> oh, yep. nice. Put that one there, but uh, that doesn't, still doesn't solve the no, bridge No, it doesn't solve the bridge trouble. problem. Do you remember how to do it? Yeah, you pick up uh, one of the containers yeah. and hit it. I know who you can do that at this point. Bash stick with rock. Yeah, the, that, that's the basic solution. Are you going to solve it before the end of this episode? I don't think so. I think I tried to solve it. You got a couple of minutes left, I think. Oh yeah. I think I... Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering picking up things and playing with. No, don't go down. Why would you go down? I do not know why you would go down. Oh, I tried. Let's see. Actually, I think if you use the rocket, you can actually like shoot it away and then bring it back in and use a rocket to knock it down. Oh, wow. Uh. I would have tried that if I hadn't have thought of all the other obvious things. 
Well, at this point, the I, I, way I could have said it, I think. <laughs> well, I think I believe at this point that I think well, that con even if I would have thought of a contagion, I would think well, they are static. They can't. Move. Yeah, it's you've got to break through a lot of uh, gaming uh, preconceptions in this game. Yeah, exactly. It breaks a lot of the rules. Oh, you nearly knocked Brum down then. Okay, so. Can I? I don't. You're not making it this episode. I will have to see this in the next one. Oh yeah. Hopefully you'll solve it. Cheery bye. Bye.